Hi everybody, it's Don from Don's Fan of Vacation and I had a conversation with a subscriber the other day and I realized that uh, a lot of people still have some misconception about cruise ships. They think that it's still for, you know, people 65 and 75 years old who just want to sit around by the pool and lounge uh, and go to the buffet and that's it. And cruise ships are so much more than that nowadays and they have so many innovations every year that they're bringing on to those cruise ships. So I'm going to talk about 25 things that a lot of you may not realize they actually have on cruise ships. Coming up right after this. Number one, one of the German cruise lines out there, AIDA or Ida Cruises, they actually have microbreweries on the ship, well, four of them anyway, that will brew beer right in front of you, and it's their own brand on the ship. They're not importing it. So they also do tours of the microbrewery, and you get an inside glance at it. So if you're really into beer, that might be the cruise for you. Number two, Bars just don't stand around anymore and you walk into them. There's cruise ships out there that now have bars that go between floors, between decks, say, 5 and 8. Uh, it's a 20-minute trip up and 10 minutes to get off and on. So every half hour, it's making a trip up and down on the cruise ship. And you're sitting in a bar like an elevator. Number three, speaking of bars, how about an ice bar? We've all heard of the ice hotels uh, in Switzerland and in Quebec City. Well, this is kind of like along those lines where they've made the entire bar out of ice and they have specialty drinks in there. You have to wear a parka to go in and it's, uh, you know, when you're in the Caribbean, it's 105 degrees in the sun and then you go into minus temperatures in an ice bar. It can be quite the thrill and uh, really kind of a unique bar and experience to go to. So number four, might as well stick with the last of the bar situation. How about a robotic bartender that'll mix and serve your drinks for you? You place your order, and they reach around and grab them all, shake it up in front of you, and deliver it directly to you. Yeah, I don't know how many bartenders are happy with that, that they might be replaced someday with a robotic bartender, but right now it's only on two ships, and it's, it's kind of neat to see. Number five, for all of you people out there who think it's really nice to get up on the top deck of a cruise ship, you know, you're up 18, 19 stories high and you're overlooking the ocean and everything. Well, some cruise ships have gone one step higher than that. They've actually built an observation pod that lifts up 300 feet above ocean level to look out over the wherever you are at the time. So if you want to get even higher on a cruise ship, you can check out ones that have the observation pod. Number six, probably one of the most unique things you'll ever see on a cruise ship. The Queen Mary II has a planetarium. That's right, we're not talking about a museum, we're not talking about lecture halls, but a cruise ship has its own planetarium. Number seven, on some of the celebrity cruises, they have what's called the Lawn Club, where you'll see real grass out there. And some of the special things that they like to do up there is they'll set up croquet sets, to, uh, croquet games, uh, lawn bowling up there, and they'll also offer picnic baskets so families can just go and have a nice picnic on the lawn overlooking the ocean. Number eight, I have to mention this, the dinner shows. Not only are you just watching a good show out there, but the dinner shows will incorporate your meal with the activity that they're doing. There's one out there that does like a big Cirque du Soleil kind of thing. There's one out there that does like a murder mystery and the people who are serving you are actually the people who are performing at the same time. And it's rather unique to see a person up there spinning and dancing and doing jumping jacks and then the next minute they're delivering your entree. Number nine, a unique feature on Disney ships, so say the Disney Dream or the Disney Fantasy, is they'll have artwork. For instance, you'll see Minnie Mouse and she's posing like the Mona Lisa, but it's also 
kind of alive. It's it comes to life like you would see in like Harry Potter movies, where all of a sudden she'll watch you go by, or they'll blink and they'll smile and they'll wave. So kids love these kind of things, and the kid in heart that I have, yeah, I kind of love these things too. Number ten, like going to see movies. Well, how about trying a four D movie theater or a simulator movie theater where the seats will move according to the action that's going on and you'll smell things. It's kind of like soaring in Walt Disney World where you go over the orange groves and you smell oranges. Same thing on these 4D movies. So you can imagine the experience you could have on some of the films that are out there. Especially some of these fantasy films out there like Alice in Wonderland or something along those lines. It could be amazing. Number 11 Cruise ships are always trying to entertain families, and what, what better way to keep you nice and cool on those hot sea days is having a huge aqua park. So almost all cruise ships nowadays being built have some kind of water park. Not just a pool, not just a hot tub, but slides and activities to keep you entertained and cool all at the same time. Number 12, want a bit of a thrill seek? You always wanted to drive a Formula One race car, but you don't really want to die making that turn in 200 miles an hour when you don't know how to control the car. So, NSC Cruises actually has Formula One simulators on board their cruise ships, and they're very realistic. In fact, some Formula F1 drivers actually have practiced on those simulators. And uh, yeah, no chance of death, always a good thing. Number 13, want a bit of a thrill seek? You like going zip lining out in the forest? Well, nowadays you don't even need to leave the ship because ships like the Oasis of the Sea have zip lines on them and they'll set you up there nine, ten decks above the ship and shoot you out over the open areas of the ship. And yeah, it's a little disconcerting when you're looking down and you see people below you instead of forest. It actually makes it seem much higher than it actually is. Number 14, one of the things I love making a fool of myself on because I've never surfed in my life is going on the surf simulators or flow riders on some of these ships. I am lucky to last about 10 or 15 seconds up on these things, but it's always a thrill, it's a great fun, and there's some of the most popular activities to do on a cruise ship, and there's often quite a bit of lineups to do it. But it's pretty funny to watch us because people like me just don't know what we're doing. Number 15, well, they have Formula One simulator, they have a surfing simulator, why not skydiving simulator as well, where you get all dressed up and you're in this tube with forced air from below, and you can do all the things you can do skydiving, except you're not jumping out of a plane to do it. Number 16, a new thing coming to some of the Norwegian cruise ships is go-karts, not just a small little track, but they're two stories of the ship on these go-karts. And what's kind of neat is you would say, oh boy, that would be pretty noisy for uh, anyone on the cruise trying to relax by the pool. No, they're all electric go-karts. You don't hear a thing. All the sound is pumped in through the helmet to make it sound like you're revving your motor and they're synced to your gas pedal. So yeah, you're thinking you're riding a full powerful go-kart around gas driven. It's electric and no one else around you really hears a thing. Other than your screams of delight, of course. Number 17, want a little bit of nostalgia? Feel like going to an amusement park? Well, how about going on the bumper cars? Because yeah, cruise lines, some of the ships have bumper cars on their cruise ship. What? Number 18, not only do they do shows here, but you can do it as well, is they have skating rinks. Not just uh, inline skating, but actual ice skating rinks on some of these cruise ships. They'll do an ice skating performance like you would see at the Ice Capades or something along the or Disney on Ice. And then there's open times where you can rent some skates or well, I'll give them to you. And off you go and you can skate in the middle of the ocean on a cruise ship. Number 19, one of the true master innovations is on the large Oasis class ships uh, that Royal Caribbean came out where the back of the ship is all kind of open But they have the huge water diving show which is a combination of dance 
diving and trapeze artists and it's you know holds a thousand people not to mention those who can see it from the balconies of their ships as well it really is a very unique feature that you'll only see on some ships but again they have a water show with diving on a cruise ship number 20 the ships are getting so large they actually have neighborhoods on their ships now like central park and boardwalk they're not just large atriums when you walk into the ship they actually have areas that are outdoors that seem like you're walking in the middle of the city and uh, for instance they in the boardwalk area they have a merry-go-round and that merry-go-round is one of the most technologically advanced things on the ship and you say well it's just a merry-go-round yeah but think about it it has to be able to perform while the ship is going left to right, forward, back, it's rotating in the waves and things like that. It has a built-in gyroscope that will always keep that merry-go-round perfectly level for anyone who's riding on it. So yeah, one of the most technological things on a cruise ship is a merry-go-round. Number 21, another favorite with kids and people who like a little adventure is rope courses that are up 15, 20 feet above the deck plans and go all around the ship and it uh, gives you a little bit of a workout while you're up there and some fantastic views of wherever you happen to be at the time when you're on the ship. Number 22, how about bungee trampoline? Kids line up for this for hours if it's really busy on some ships because they just have such a good time when they strap you in and you can do all kinds of flips and jumping around all under the protection of not falling because you're strapped in with these you know, huge trampoline setup. And uh, I tried it once and I'm not the most acrobatic person at my age, but I had a, a whole lot of fun doing it. And uh, the people watching me had a lot of fun too because yeah, I wasn't very good. Number 23, some ships have what they call the sky ride, which is like a hanging motorized enclosed bicycle that you can pedal around the outside of the ship on a track and get some great views and a little bit of a workout. I took my camera up there a couple times, so took some pictures and it gets some great shots, especially when you're in port and uh, in the Caribbean and you want to overlook some places. It, uh, every few feet you can get higher, the better your pictures are going to be. And you can do this at your own pace. There's no rush. Number 24, you can bowl on a cruise ship. Some cruise ships have six lane bowling alleys on the cruise ship now. So not just arcades, they have full blown bowling. And it's a lot, really nice way to spend a Wednesday evening when you're sailing between ports and you get yourself together with some friends, you get some beverages and you just have fun bowling away just like you would in your own hometown. Number 25, I like this one a lot. Seaborne Cruises has a portable floating dock that they lower out whenever they're in port that, uh, you know, it's safe to do so if, as long as there's not a lot of ships going by. But you can get onto other watercraft. You can get kayaks and boats and sailboats and some jet skis. And you can leave from this port right off the ship. You don't have to go to shore to find these things. They come with the ship. So yeah, if you, what, oh, it's a, we can't go to that port today, don't worry. You drop down the dock and you can still get out in the ocean and kayaks and stuff like that. It's really cool to see. And it's also really cool to get out in a little kayak and watch the ship and take some pictures of the ship as you, as you uh, paddle by because that gets some amazing pictures that a lot of people can never get. So yeah, portable dock on the ships. Crazy, right? So there you have 25 things and there's a whole lot more. I never covered rock climbing walls and excursions and um, you know Broadway shows and interactive game shows. There's so many things on cruise ships nowadays to do. You just have to look at what's offered on the ship that you're looking to go and make your decision whatever most suits you to choose. And they're coming up with stuff all the time. Whatever we think is really cool now will be old hat in four years because there's going to be all kinds of new stuff coming on the new ships being built. So keep that in mind. It's not just for people sitting around lounging by the pool anymore. 
There is so much stuff to do. It'll keep somebody entertained in your party, no matter what age, no matter how active, and no matter what you want to do, there's something for everybody. All you have to do is look for it. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tip videos and more cruising vlogs, please hit that subscribe button. And until next time, please have a safe and a great vacation.